Hi guys, this is Brenda with Canaan Creations and today I have a really cute pinwheel card for you. This uses the new Something Borrowed paper from the 2015 Occasions catalog and this is a belly band with a greeting attached. It has some ribbon that goes all the way around and the way the card opens is you simply pull this out like this and then you would have room for your greeting, even a gift card in the center. And then it just folds back up. This fourth one is going to tuck under this little part right here. So you're just going to push that right under. And then the belly band goes around the card and that's just going to slip right over. So we're going to be using the Simply Scored from Stamping Up and I've attached the diagonal plate on top. So the diagonal plate, if you turn it over, you'll notice there's an arrow at the top. You want to make sure that is pointing to the top of your Simply Scored. So we're just going to place this in. We have a piece of paper that is cut 8 inches by 8 inches and we're going to slide it all the way to the left corner. We're going to use the scoring stylus that comes with it. And I like to use the smaller tip here, but either tip would work. The only thing I would say when using designer series paper is it's thinner than cardstock and you don't want to press so hard with the stylus that it cuts through your paper. So we're going to find the three inch mark, which is right here. And we're just going to put it right in there. And just remember that it goes on the diagonal. I always want to go straight down. That's not going to work with the diagonal plate. So find the three inch mark and go diagonal. And you're going to turn this and repeat on all four sides. Now you'll notice when you fold on the score lines, do you see that little triangle right here? You're going to cut that from all four corners. And you're just going to use your scissors to snip that. Just like that, and you're just going to repeat that on all four corners. So once you've removed all four of these corners, you're also going to remove the diagonal plate, and you're going to place your paper right back where it was before. You're going to find the one inch mark, put your stylus in that notch, and you're going to go straight down. And you're going to stop right when you get to that point, and just rotate and repeat on all four sides. Now that you've got it all cut and scored, you're going to decide which pattern you want to see most of. I like this floral pattern, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to start folding. So you're going to fold this in and then find the side that you scored and you're going to fold that in the opposite direction. Now I do try to make sure that these line up. So see how there's a little bit of a gap here? So I would just give that a little bit of a tug and then press that down. I wouldn't use the bone folder to crease your score lines because sometimes too much creasing will crack the paper and you can see the white center. So just fold with your fingers, that'll be fine. And you're just going to repeat this on all four sides. So when you start to fold these in, do you see how the point is right there? You want to cover up the point. So you're just going to use this left one and see how you've covered up that point. So if you go in this direction, you're not covering up that point. So this is wrong if you can see the point. If you can't see the point, that's good. So you're just going to go all the way around, making sure when you get to this fourth one, you're going to fold it over, but you need to tuck in this final point and it's going to go right in here. So you're going to kind of lift this up a little bit and just push that in. The first time you do it, it's kind of weird, but just shove it in there. And so now that it's in, you're going to kind of straighten out and just gently press this down and there you go. So I wanted to point out the original sample. The pinwheel is going this way, right? And then the one that I made is going the opposite direction. It's fine no matter how you do it as long as you cover up the points as you're going around the card. When this is all folded, it measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it still fits in your regular envelope. 
The belly band is just a piece of cardstock and this measures 7 8 by 11, which is longer than you need. So what I do is I just set this down here and then I just gently fold it and then I come over here and fold this and I want my seam to be covered up by whatever's on top so I'm just going to chop that off. You're going to add adhesive here and then you're going to decorate it either with more patterned paper or some ribbon and then this just goes around and the seams are in the front so it's hidden by this little greeting on top. Now when you cut your paper 8 by 8 you're going to end up with some 4 inch strips because the paper is 12 by 12 and this is just a quick and easy card that you can make using a 4 inch by 5 and a quarter piece of designer series paper. I just added some more of that same white organza ribbon and the paper is pretty all by itself so you really just need to add a greeting and I embellished these little flowers with pearls. I hope you enjoyed today's projects using the Something Borrowed Designer Series paper. For more ideas you can visit me at KeenanCreations.com. Thanks and have a great day.